Welcome to this Holy Mass, which will be presided by His Grace, Archbishop Simon Paul, and live streamed to you from St. Joseph's Cathedral in the Archdiocese of Kuchin in Malaysia. Today, we celebrate the Mass of the Chrism, which the Bishop of every diocese traditionally concelebrates with his priests throughout the diocese. God's word today reveals that Christ came to bring good news and to give the oil of gladness, making each one of us a line of kings and priests. In this Mass, the holy oils of the chrism, the sick and catechumens are blessed. The oils of the chrism and catechumens are used for the sacraments of baptism and holy order, while the oil of the sick is used for the anointing of the sick. During this celebration too, our priests will renew their commitment made at their ordinations. Let us especially pray for them. We now enter into this Eucharistic celebration as we sing the entrance hymn on P21, Glory and Praise to Our God.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening from St. Joseph Cathedral. And we welcome brothers and sisters also joining this Mass via live streaming on Facebook or YouTube. Brothers and sisters, traditionally, the Chrism Mass is celebrated on Holy Thursday morning, that is tomorrow a day before Good Friday. We have shifted it tonight in order that our outstation priests, as we can see, or our priests from all over the archdiocese, all the parishes, they are here, so that they can return to respective parishes and celebrate the triduum with their communities. This morning with the priests, we had a day of recollection in preparation for Chrism Mass. We were blessed with Father Jesudas, the Claritian Provincial from Chennai, India, who preached at our recollection. Father is here uh, right there. Father, maybe come forward so we can see you. I take this opportunity to welcome Father Jesudas from India and thank him for supporting and sending Claritian's priest missionary to our Archdiocese, as well as also to Cebu and Miri Diocese. Father Jesudas, Thank you very much. Nandri. <laughs> Tonight we pray for the priests who will renew our priestly promises made at ordination. We will also bless the holy oils used for the sacraments, namely the oil of catechumen, the oil of the sick, and the chrism, chrism oil. Maybe a question first to ponder, to keep at the back of our mind. Have you ever wondered why this Mass is called Chrism Mass? Let us enter into the liturgy and let the Word of God, the liturgy today, speak to us tonight. And so to prepare ourselves, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. As brothers and sisters in the Lord, we pray for one another as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, O oh, the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest 
and on earth be son of peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, who anointed your only begotten Son with the Holy Spirit and made him Christ and Lord, graciously grant that being made sharers in his consecration, we may bear witness to your redemption in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and ranks with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Pembacaan dari kitab Yesaya Roh Tuhan Allah ada padaku Karena Tuhan telah mengurapi aku Untuk membawa kabar baik Kepada orang yang tertindas Dia mengutus aku untuk membalut hati yang hancur untuk mengumumkan pembebasan kepada orang tawanan dan kelepasan bagi orang tahanan 
untuk mengistiharkan tahun keredaan Tuhan dan hari pembalasan Allah kita. Untuk menghiburkan semua yang berkabung, untuk memberi orang yang berkabung di Zion, ya, untuk mengurnai mereka perhiasan kepada kepala sebagai ganti abu, minyak kegirangan sebagai ganti perkabungan, dan jubah puji-pujian sebagai ganti semangat yang pudar. Mereka akan disebut pukok auk kebenaran yang ditanam Tuhan supaya dia dipermuliakan. Tetapi kamu akan disebut para imam Tuhan dan akan dinamai para hamba Allah kita. Kamu akan menikmati kekayaan bangsa-bangsa dan akan memegahkan diri dalam kelimpahan mereka. Karena aku, Tuhan mencintai keadilan dan membenci perampasan serta kezaliman. Aku akan memberi mereka upah dengan benar dan mengikat perjanjian yang kekal dengan mereka. Keturunan mereka akan terkenal di antara bangsa dan anak cucu mereka dalam kalangan suku bangsa. Semua orang yang melihat mereka akan mengakui bahawa mereka memang keturunan yang diberkati Tuhan. Sabda Tuhan. Syukur kepada Allah.
末世路。愿恩宠与平安，由那原为忠实的见证，死者中的守身者，和地上万王的元首耶稣基督赐予你们。愿光荣与全能归于那爱我们，并以自己的血解救我们脱离我们的罪过，使我们成为国度，成为侍奉他的天主和父的诗迹的那位，直到万世万代。阿门。看，他趁着云彩降来，众目都要张望他。连那些刺透他的人，也要瞻望他；地上的各种族都要哀悼他。的确这样。阿门。我是阿尔法和奥莫加，那今在、系在及将来永在的全能者、善主、天主，这样说。天主的圣性。感谢天主。The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, "The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me." For he has anointed me; he has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing for a moment. I bless you with the book of Gospel.
Dear brothers and sisters, and all who are following this via live streaming, welcome to this Chrism Mass. The word Chrism derives from the Greek word Chrisma, meaning anointing. And during this Mass, we have renewal of priestly promises, blessing of oil of catechumens, and oil for anointing of the sick, and we have consecration of the chrism. Lastly, we'll hand over the oils to the priest to administer to our Catholics in respective parishes. Immediately after the homily, we begin with the renewal of priestly promises. As Chrism Mass is celebrated around Holy Thursday Mass of the Lord's Supper, when Jesus instituted the celebration of the Eucharist of Mass, and by doing that, he also instituted the priesthood. And that is why, around this time, we invite the priest to renew the promises made at ordination. At Chrism Mass, every diocese celebrates the close bond between the bishops and his priests who share in the bishop's priestly ministry. And that's why today we have priests from all over the Archdiocese coming in here together in the Mother Church, this cathedral. And so I invite you to pray for, for me and your priests who have traveled here to renew our promises made at ordinations. Dear fathers, Thank you for being available to serve our people, especially in offering masses, praying and interceding, administering the sacraments of baptism, reconciliation, anointing of the sick, blessing weddings, and especially accompanying the bereaved and funeral services over all these years. The people here present, we ex express our gratitude to the ministry for you fathers. Later on in the Mass, we, after the renewal of priestly promises, we have the blessings of oil of catechumen and also blessing of oil of the sick. We are using the traditional rite that the bishop will bless in every diocese during Chrism Mass, and this will be in various parts of the Mass. We will bless the oil of the sick after, at the conclusion of the Eucharistic prayer, before the doxology, through him, within him, him, the oil of the sick will be blessed within the Eucharistic prayer. And then the oil of catechumens and chrism will be blessed right after the prayer, after communion, just before the blessing. What is the significance of these holy oils? First of all, these holy oils are only blessed by a bishop and will only be used for sacraments by the priest only. So these are different from the oil that are blessed by priests during life in the spirit seminar or when we buy from Holy Land and so on. This is not the oil that we use. These are not the oils for the sacraments. These are just normal use. But the oils that I'm blessing tonight, this very night, is specially to be used by the priest for the sacraments. Allow me just to go into the significance of the oil one by one. Oil of catechumens, as the name describes it, it is to prepare every candidate as they begin their RCIA, Rite of Christian Initiation of Adult. We call it the catechumenate. They are ready to become, to continue the journey on, on first Sunday of Advent in December in the Archdiocese of Coaching, we admit them officially to become catechumen. And to do that, we anoint them with the oil of catechumen. What does this oil do? It's the oil of salvation. We strengthen the candidates as, the cate as catechumen. We call them catechumen. You see them using a cross. Usually they have a cross given to them at the right of catechumenate. And they have the power of Christ as to receive the power of Christ as Lord and Savior, anointed 
with this oil. And the oil of catechumen cleanses and strengthens the catechumens to resist the power of Satan, to reject evil in all its form as they begin this journey towards baptism. So we pray for the catechumen who have made the journey and now in the final 40 days of land as elect they'll be baptized during Easter Vigil. The oil of the sick, the name suggests, is clearly meant for anointing of those who are sick. This is actually, this practice was recorded in the Bible by a bishop called James, the Apostle James, in his letter, chapter 5, verse 14. The oil of the sick strengthened the sick person to bear suffering during sickness and to obtain pardon for their sins. So it's good that, brothers and sisters, when somebody is sick and seriously sick, and even in the danger of death or even remote, but they are sick due for oppression, ask for the anointing of the sick. So may the sick person experience a spiritual strength and physical healing, the compassion of Christ and his saving love in, the bo in his in body and soul to be strengthened to face the challenges ahead with faith, especially when they are sick. The third oil that are blessed is called chrism. Chrism takes its name from Christ, meaning the anointed of the Lord and it's the oil that is used to anoint. So you notice that chrism oil, we will use the term, is consecrated, while the oil of catechumens and oil of the sick is blessing. The consecratory prayer is longer than the blessing prayer, and all the priests will participate by raising their hands during the consecration of chrism. And we know that chrism, it means it's of greater importance for it consecrates everyone who receives it to make sacred, to set apart. And chrism is important and even for this mass, there's renewal of the priestly vow and blessing of all, but we call this mass chrism mass. That's how important it is for every one of us. Chrism is used during baptism. It is the sacrament that opens the door to other sacraments when we become Catholic, a child of God, and is consecrated and thus set apart from the world. We look at Jesus. He was anointed by the Holy Spirit at his baptism in the River Jordan. Likewise, all catechumen and even baby baptism the babies are anointed with the oil, with chrism, immediately after the baptism, symbolizing receiving the anointing from the Holy Spirit, even as baby. All of us who are baptized have received the anointing of the chrism. And it is so important because if I'm not baptized, I cannot even uh, enter the seminary. So every baptized is anointed for mission to be part of the priestly people, kingly people, and prophetic people of God. This is our common calling. Every one of us baptized, this is sharing in the common priesthood of all baptized. And among those baptized, a few are called and ordained as priests to minister to the community. We call this the ministerial priesthood for ordained ministers who celebrate masses and administer the sacraments. So the priests are here with us. And at ordination, priests are anointed with chrism on the palm of their hand. And for a bishop, it is anointing on the head. Another anointing with oil of chrism. But this does not mean that the ordained priesthood is superior to the last dead. Chrism underlies the fundamental one common priesthood from a baptism that we all share as baptized Catholics. The ordained minister is called from the baptism calling to serve as minister. And in a way, without baptism, 
none of us will be ordained here. So the Chrism Mass celebrates more than just today, witnessing the blessing, the oil for sacrament, or coming to pray or express our support for priests. The Chrism Mass celebrates our very identity as the chosen people of God, bishops, priests, and lay people together as a local church. Or in today's term, we call Synodal Church, journeying together as one community of faith. So the Chrism Mass celebrates the unity, the communion of all the baptized, all of us, and the ordained, all of us together, with a mission to make Christ present and to establish God's kingdom of peace, mercy, and hope in our family, in our society, in your place of work where we cannot be, the priest cannot be, but you are in your offices, you are in the place of work, in your school, in the world we can bring about God's kingdom. And we have heard this reading twice, Old Testament from Isaiah, and then also from Jesus himself, quoting from Isaiah, the spirit of the Lord has been given to me. We think of his baptism when he received the Holy Spirit, the anointing, the anointing of the Christ, the chrism. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for He has anointed us and sent us to bring good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, to the blind new sight, to set down children free, to proclaim the Lord's year favor. All of us receive the same anointing, consecrated, to be set apart for the mission of God. And so, Tonight we celebrate who we are, the church, the community of faith. All the baptized, anointed, consecrated, set apart for mission and sent forth to carry on the mission of Christ in the church, family and society. And it's good that all of us are here this very evening and those who are joining online. In closing, I stand before you and during this Christmas, I humbly ask for your prayers for me, for the grace to be a good father to my priests. They are my closest collaborators. And we ask that we pray, support the priests, and ask the Lord to give the Ashtasis and all the parishes good pastors. So that's why we're here. We pray for the priests. At the end of this Mass, these sacred oils, to be used exclusively for the sacraments will be entrusted to every priest for use in the diocese. When our priests will renew their ordination promises, what we do is we are pledging to be available to serve you in the sacraments, closely linked with these oils, baptism, confirmation, and in particular, anointing of the sick, together with communion for the sick, and dying. This is our commitment to be available, to make the sacraments available to you. So pray for your priests who are serving you faithfully in the parishes. We are all human, but with your understanding, we can be better pastors to serve you. So pray to the Lord of the harvest to give shepherds after his own heart, who will feed us on knowledge and understanding. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. But this very night, let us celebrate that all of us by our baptism are being set apart. All of us who have been anointed with the oil of chrism is sent forth, set apart for mission to bring about Christ's mercy, love and hope to all people in our family, society, wherever we are and in the world. Amen. Congregation, please remain seated. The renewal of priestly promises will now take place. Please turn to page 110, 110 of the Holy Week Liturgy Booklet.
Renewal of priestly promises. Beloved sons, on the anniversary of that day, when Christ our Lord conferred his priesthood on his apostles and on us, are you resolved to renew in the presence of your bishop and God's holy people the promises you once made? Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus and more closely conform to Him, denying yourselves and confirming those promises about sacred duties towards Christ's Church, which prompted by love of Him, you willingly and joyfully pledge on the day of your priestly ordination? Amen. Are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God? in the Holy Eucharist and other liturgical rites, and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching, following Christ the Head and Shepherd, not seeking any gain, but moved only by zeal for soul. Amen. Let us all stand. And you, dearest sons and daughters, pray for your priests that the Lord may pour out his gifts abundantly upon them and keep them faithful as ministers of Christ, the high priest, so that they may lead you to him who is the source of salvation. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. And pray also for me, that I may be faithful to the apostolic office, entrusted to me in my lowliness, and that in your midst I may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of all. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. May the Lord keep us all in his charity and lead all of us, shepherds and flock, to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
sense. By baptism, we receive the Holy Spirit, anointed, consecrated. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is all in us, and increase in us grace and salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Live up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design were pleased to decree that by that his one priesthood should continue in the church for christ not only adorns us adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands they are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption to set before your children the Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacrament. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. throughout the world. On page 20, for those using the Holy Week Liturgy booklet, You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessings, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Simon our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, 
and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Blessing of the oil of the sick. Lord God, loving Father, you bring healing to the sick through your Son, Jesus Christ. Hear us as we pray to you in faith, and send the Holy Spirit, man's helper and friend, upon this oil, which nature has provided to serve the needs of man. May your blessing come upon all who are anointed with this oil, that they may be freed from pain and illness, and met well again in body, mind, and soul. Father, may this oil be blessed for our use in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. baptism, we receive the same Holy Spirit that enable us to call our Father and that we can pray. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The 
peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. sense of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, and you should enter under my roof. I want to say the word, and my soul shall be To make an act of spiritual communion, let us recite together prayerfully. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We beseech you, Almighty God, that those you renew by your sacraments may merit to become the pleasing fragrance of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord God, protector of all who believe in you, bless this oil and give wisdom and strength to all who are anointed with it in preparation for the baptism. Bring them to a deeper understanding of the gospel. Help them to accept the challenge of Christian living and lead them to the joy of new birth in the family of your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Consecration of the Chrism in your book is page 116. Let us pray that God, our Almighty Father, will bless this oil so that all who are anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation. Father, we thank you for the gifts you have given us in your love. We thank you for life itself and for the sacraments that strengthen it and give it fuller meaning. In the Old Covenant, you gave your people a glimpse of the power of this holy oil. And when the fullness of time had come, you brought that mystery to perfection in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. By his suffering, dying, and rising to life, he saved the human race. He sent your Spirit to fill the church with every gift needed to complete your saving work. From that time forward, through the sign of holy chrism, you dispense your life and love to men. By anointing them with the Spirit, you strengthen all who have been reborn in baptism. Through their anointing, you transform them into the likeness of Christ, your Son, and give them a share in His royal, priestly, and prophetic word. And so, Father, by the power of your love, Make this mixture of oil and perfume a sign and source of your blessing. Pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit on our brothers and sisters who will be anointed with it. Let the splendor of holiness shine on the world from every place and thing signed with this oil. Above all, Father, we pray that through this sign of your anointing, you will grind increase to your church until it reaches the eternal glory, where you, Father, will be the all in all, together with Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Before I present the oil to the rectors, I realize that we need some time for them to pack in the boxes. Allow me to say a few closing words. This chrism oil will be used to anoint every newly baptized, to trace the sign of cross on those receiving confirmation, and to anoint the hands of priests at ordination. Brothers and sisters, through these oils, we are all baptized, confirmed, and sent for mission as God's kingly, priestly, and prophetic people 
When I was praying at the altar just now, I realized that I was not praying alone. Even the Eucharistic prayer, I may be alone saying it, but you are all praying together with me as one body of Christ. This is the consecration that God has given to all of us, that we be a people that pray together. So at every Mass, don't just come and listen and watch. Pray in your heart together with us. This is the charism, the anointing God has given us, that we are a people of prayer, a kingly people, a priestly people to pray together. So I echo the words of Pope Francis. Dear faithful people of God, be close to your priest with affection and with your prayers. That, they may all, that the priest may always be shepherds according to God's heart and pray for those whom God is calling to be priests that they may respond to this call with humility and joy. I also thank the religious. We pray for religious sisters. We pray for religious brothers. The seminaries are supporting us here and the Ashta system pastoral counselors are here and all of us. Let us be a praying church. And to my brother priest, you are my closest collaborators. And now I know you are committed to be available to make the sacraments available. As your bishop, I pledge you my commitment and solidarity with you. Dear fathers, your ministry is so essential to the kampongs and city Catholics and has made so much and had made such a difference in God's plan for our people. Know that the people of God appreciate you tremendously, and so do I. I thank you, and together, the people of God, we thank you. And now we hand over to the handing on of the oils for the parishes. His Grace Archbishop Simon Paul will now present a set of holy oils to the rector of each parish and institute of our archdiocese. The sequence is as follows. Number one, Father Jerome Juleng from the parish of Our Lady, Queen of Peace, Sri Aman. Father Lazarus Sweeney from the parish of St. Jesus, Syrian. <laughs> Father Buckman's Raya from the parish of St. Jude's, Bunan, Tebedu. Father Adrian Cole from the Parish of the Holy Spirit, Lundu. Father Peter Liston from the Parish of St. Stephen's, Bau. Father Don Don Ramirez from the parish of St. Anne's, Kota Padawan. Father Felix Au from the parish of the Sacred Heart, Kota Sentosa. Father Leonard Yap 
from the Parish of the Blessed Sacrament, BDC. Father Eugene Maklasam from the Parish of the Holy Trinity, Kenyalang. <laughs> Father Vincent Chin from the Parish of St. Peter's, Padunang. Monsignor William Sabang from the Chapel of Mother Mary Stutong. Father Patrick Heng from St. Peter's College, Major Seminary, Kuching. We hope the seminarian don't need anointing. <laughs> Father Nicholas Ng from the Cathedral Parish of St. Joseph's, Kuching. So lastly, brothers and sisters, be reminded that we are all anointed with chrism. We are priestly people. We are kingly people to govern, to bring about God's kingdom. We are prophetic people to teach, to proclaim, to, living, to live the witness of God, the gospel value in our life. And so with this, we ask for God's blessing to send us forth. Let's stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' mind by the outpouring and anointing of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above all the apostles powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil. Pervert them with his purifying light. Amen. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. To conclude our celebration, we shall take the hymn P16. Father, make us one.